Good evening, everyone. It's the 10th of August, 2023. This is Election Pulse by The Vibes. It's two days to go for the six state elections on Saturday. In Kelantan, the cousin of Dato Muhammad Amar Nick Abdullah, the past candidate for Pancho, resorted to setting up a tent for rival Pakatan Harapan in Muhammad Amar's own compound. This is despite Muhammad Amar being the caretaker deputy Mantri Basar. Interestingly, Mohamed Fekri, who is not contesting, is also related to the Pakatan candidate there, Said Mohamed Ali Dostro, Said Mohamed Zay. When asked why he set up the tent, Mohamed Fekri simply responded, this is considered family land. He also said he is no longer happy with pass. Candidates should be careful about what they say in the heat of campaigning. Salango's caretaker, Mantri Basar, Dr. Sri Amiruddin Shari, has sent a letter of demand to his Kadar counterpart, Dato Sri Muhammad Sanusi Muhammad Noor, over an allegedly defamatory speech Sanusi recently delivered at a rally in Jitra. Amiruddin alleged that Sanusi slandered him by claiming that Amiruddin had given state land for free to private companies, among other things. Sanusi is the past elections director, while Amiruddin is leading the Pakatan Harapan Barisan National Alliance in Selangor. Amiruddin demanded that Sanusi withdraw his statement and apologize within 48 hours and also pay damages of 10 million ringgit. Meanwhile, the elections have hit a raw nerve in the holiday island of Langkawi in Kedah, where tourism industry has been badly hit by inflation and the after-effects of the pandemic. The island has two state seats and tourism operators called on candidates to hold dialogues with them to understand the issues afflicting the industry, such as poor ferry services, delayed infrastructure, and the lack of focus on sustainable ecotourism. And that's it from us today. Stay tuned for more updates tomorrow. This has been Election Pulse by The Vibes.